A few years later, in 2004, we started to produce with the dry process line. The beginning of the production is nearly the same like the wet process. We have also chips as uh, raw materials, but only chips without bark. This is here for this production line really important because we need longer fibers. Um, the fibers are getting cooked, getting milled in the refiner, and then we cooked the fibers. Uh, we, we dried the fibers before we do boards with it. So that's a big difference between the wet process and the dry process. So all the moisture out um, in the fibers are getting dried out before we produce boards with it. This is a long tube with the warm uh, air, which uh, has to do two parts. One part has to transport the fibers from the fiber line up to the production line. And the other part is during this uh, transport, the fibers are getting dried. So we have uh, two parts in one combined. Um, after they are dried, they come in a big cyclone. The cyclone is for um, uh, to take the air back um, to the, the fibers. Um, so we don't have too much air on the production line. Then the complete fibers get to the bell scale, which uh, dimensions how much fiber is coming into the factory line. And uh, then the bell scale told the, the, the um, binder line how much binder we need in the production. And uh, I told we need only 4% binder in this production line. Um, this is getting uh, sprayed on the fibers. And uh, then it's get into the spreader and the spreader um, put the fibers up to the transportation line. So we have here really dry fibers only with the binder on, on the outside, the PUR resin. And then um, the fiber cake is getting pressed into the right format, the right thickness. And then we uh, pressing water vapor and air mixture through to the board because of the diffusion openness of the board, we can press the air through the board. And the moisture with the PUR resin um, gives a connection to the fibers. And so we have really strong and hard uh, wood fiber boards after this production line in complete dry way. So after this, they are not so hot, they are completely dry and we can um, install them directly. The advantages of the dry process we have a completely homogene board, so we don't need to glue different sheet, uh, sheets because we can produce here 20 up to 240 millimeter boards in a homogene way. This is uh, a big advantage of the dry process. So we have uh, um, also we produce a wood fiber blow in insulation with the dry process um, material. We have less tolerances because we have not so much moisture in the production line and everybody knows wood and moisture always is working. So we don't um, have so, less, um, so much tolerances. We have a much more higher stability. Um, with lower densities, you can see here, up, uh, in the wet process, we started with 160 kilos per cubic meters. Here we can start with 110 kilos per um, cubic meters and it's getting more and more lighter. But we can um, only use, uh, only produce boards with a density maximum of 200 kilo, kilograms per cubic meters. Then um, we have the problem in the, in the dry process. With the dry process, we are a little bit more diffusion open because we have uh, not so fine fibers like in the wet process. So um, there is getting more, more air through the boards. And we need 40% less energy for the production of uh, wood fiber boards with the dry process. This is um, a really good standard then for the production. Also, we have the advantage in the dry process that we uh, have a lower part of ingredients. And, um, and we can take a look to the, the wet process. We need glue to glue the, the sheets um, to get bigger sheets. Then we have the paraffin in it with 2% because we have to mix much more paraffin to the wet process like to the dry process. And we have also to use a binder which is in the wet process, it's latex. Um, we can't only use the lignin for the wet process boards. And in the dry process we have just the paraffin which is 
much more easier to uh, give to the board in the dry process and we have only the binder of PUR raisin of 4%. So we have here um, an ingredients part of 5.5% to the red process with 11%. So we have here the natural product for the dry process. And also we have a higher capacity for our dry process. We can uh, produce here eight tons per hour in fibers, which is uh, nearby three times more than the wet process.